It's been sitting vacant since 2016, but the site of an old train station and restaurant in the heart of downtown Lansing could soon have new life. The train station is over 100 years old and was the home of Clara's restaurant for nearly 38 years. The Gillespie Group bought the property near Shiawassee in Michigan about five years ago and has been working on a plan to redevelop it since then. Uh, what the final use is, we don't know. Uh, we're talking to a whole bunch of retailers. We're talking to office. We're talking to some different restaurant users. Um, nothing is locked in stone yet. But in a proposal plan for the 5,900 square foot property, developers say they have a letter of intent from Starbucks to lease about half of the building space. Pat Gillespie says there's a lot of work to be done on the property, like roof repairs, a complete HVAC overhaul, and installing insulation to make the space energy efficient. Gillespie says there will also be outdoor patio spaces in a small park to attract pedestrian business. The developer asked Lansing City Council to amend a brownfield tax plan originally approved for the Block 600 project across Michigan Avenue. City Council voted to amend that plan Monday night. Councilmember Spadafor. Yes. Councilmember Spitzley. Yes. Councilmember Wood. Yes. Motion carries. The developer says the move will help to offset some of the costs associated with revamping the former train station. And over the next 20 years, the difference that we're going to pay in the new taxes compared to the old taxes, we'll be able to recapture a little bit every year to help try to pay back the original amount we put in to fix the building up. The project is expected to cost almost $4 million. About 50 jobs would be created at the old train station site. 20 of those will be permanent positions. Developers say the project is slated to start up this fall and could be completed as early as next summer. Your neighborhood reporter in Lansing, Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.